same same or also known as sesame seeds are a versatile and nutrition ingredient used in various cuisines around the world. Before incorporating them into your recipes, it is essential to wash them as thorough to remove any impurities. This process not only ensures the purity and quality of the seeds but also enhances the flavor and texture. This guide will take you through the detailed steps of washing, drying, and preparing since ensuring your sesame seeds are perfect for any dish you choose to create. Step 1. We should gather our supplies. Before starting, make sure you have the necessary supplies. This includes a large bowl or basin, plenty of cold water, a fine mesh strainer or cheesecloth lined colander, clip a clean kitchen towel or paper towels. Step 2. Initial rinse. Place the seeds Begin by placing your sim sim in a large bowl or basin. Make sure the bowl is big enough to allow the seed to be fully submerged in water. Next, we add water. Cover the seeds with plenty of cold water. The, the water should be at least twice the volume of the seeds to allow for thorough cleaning. Stirring. Use your hands. To gently stir the seeds. This movement helps to loosen any dirt, dust or small stones that might be clinging to the seeds. You may notice some impurities starting to float in the surface or sink to the bottom. Step 3. Removing any impurities. First, we carefully pour off the water, taking care to avoid losing any seeds. You can pour the water through a fine mesh strainer to catch any seeds that may escape. Second, repeat the rinsing and stirring process several times. Each time, you should notice the water becoming clearer and clearer indicating that most of the impurities are being removed. Continue until the water completely turns clear. Step 4. Draining the seeds. 
you can use a strainer. Once the seeds are thoroughly washed, drain them through a fine mesh strainer or a cheesecloth lined colander. The mesh should be fine enough to prevent the tiny sesame seeds from passing through. Shake the strainer gently to remove as much water as possible. You can also tap the strainer as lightly against the sink to help release any tapped water. Step 5. Drain the seeds. There are several ways in which we can dry our seeds. First, spreading the seeds. Spread the washed seeds in a single layer on a clean kitchen towel or a few, or a few layers of paper towels. Spreading them out ensures even drying and prevents clumping. The second method involves air drying. Allow the seeds to air dry depending on the humidity or the temperature of your environment. This could take several hours, but it is best to put them in a well ventilated area to speed up the drying process. The third and final way is speeding up drying. To speed up drying, we can gently pat the seeds with another kitchen towel or paper towels. Be careful not to crush the seeds while doing so. Step 6. Ensuring complete dryness. Check for moisture. Ensuring the seam seam is completely dry before proceeding to the next step is crucial. Any remaining moist moisture can affect the texture and flavor of the final product and may cause the seeds to spoil more quickly. Any additional drying methods, if you're in a hurry or live in a particularly humid environment, you can also use an oven to dry the seeds. To heat your oven to a low temperature of about 150 degrees Fahrenheit, equivalent to 65 degrees Celsius. Spread the seeds on a baking sheet in a single layer and place them in the oven. Check the seeds every 10 to 15 minutes and stir them to ensure even drying. Be careful not to roast or toast them unless that is your intention for the recipe.
you have not yet subscribed, I highly recommend that you do so. Make sure that you also hit the notification bell to stay updated with all of Almasi's latest videos. By subscribing, you will never, and I mean never, miss out on any new content, exciting recipes, or helpful tips. Your support means a lot to us and helps us continue creating great videos for you to enjoy. Don't miss out. So, this is your time. Subscribe and turn on notifications. Now, let us turn our focus on peanuts. Start by pouring 1 kg of peanuts into a large pan. Place the pan on the stove and set the heat to low medium. Roasting peanuts requires patience and attention to prevent burning and to ensure they are evenly roasted. Begin stirring the peanuts gently with a wooden spoon or spatula to ensure they are evenly spread across the pan. This also helps to keep the heat distribution uniform. Continue stirring the peanuts regularly to avoid any from sitting in one spot for too long, which can cause an even roasting. As the peanuts roast, you will notice the color changing gradually to a golden brown. This process can take anywhere from 15 all the way to 25 minutes, depending on your stove and the specific type of peanuts you are using. Listen for a gentle crackling sound which indicates that the peanuts are roasting properly. Once they are once the peanuts are evenly roasted and have a fragrant, nutty aroma, remove the pan from the heat, transfer the roasted peanuts to a clean, dry surface or a large bowl to cool. Allow them to completely cool before using them in your recipe or storing them for a later use.